So here is our updated video on our 2021 Ibex 19 QBS by Forest River. I believe the QBS stands for Queen Bed Slide Out. I don't know. That's just what I think. Anyway, so we've had it for about four months now. We've gone on five trips uh, up and down the coast and uh, Lassen, California, basically all Northern California. Uh, five trips so far. And uh, just want to update everybody on the, on the uh, trailer and how's it going so far. So, of course, this is the outside with the door. Uh, I'm going to come around for the back, actually. So... I mentioned it in the other other video that the trailer sets too low. Uh, it's hard to tell in a video, of course, but it definitely sets too low. We've already knocked off one of our leveling jacks, the left-hand side one. Uh, still looking for some type of a lift kit for it. They don't have it for uh, this size trailer or axle, unfortunately. I've looked quite a bit. But if anybody can find one for me, let me know. It needs to be about three and a half inches higher. So anyway, back of the refrigerator, spare tire. Um... We just picked up one of the the Camco 28 gallon uh, tank, which comes in handy because on this trailer it's got a 30 gallon gray water tank, and that's like two showers. So we've noticed that we're, when we're not at full hookups, we definitely need that, and it mounts pretty nice on the uh, the ladder rack. Uh, so that's been a great purchase so far, but it does get heavy. So coming around on this side, there's all the normal hookups. I did that in the last video, so you know what those are. The last video I talked about the underlayment underneath the slide out was tearing. They replaced that for us under warranty, and they replaced it with a more durable, supposedly waterproof material. Um, hopefully we never find out if it's waterproof. Over on this side, water hookups. I've played around with different type of hookups here. Oops, sorry. <laughs> different type of hookups here just because I didn't want all that extra weight on the plastic uh, hose plug-in because it's the threads on it are not the strongest. So far on all of our trips, we've never had any problems with storage. This is a pass-through up at the front. Um, I put the little level right there on the inside. I thought that was kind of cool. And the uh, bags, our gloves for uh, waste. <coughs> On the front of the trailer, I recently added the jacket uh, to bike carrier. It's worked out pretty good, but we didn't bring our bikes on this trip. Um, the two 6-volt batteries have been working great. Uh, we've been here since Thursday, and we have a no, no electrical hookups. We just have water. And between the solar and... These batteries, we haven't had any issues with uh, electricity. Now, granted, we haven't been watching TV. We did have a battery pack. I'll show you that inside to watch the TV with. But uh, these two batteries have been working great for all the lights and all the other stuff uh, that's required. We just lost this on this trip, the cover for the uh, propane tank. And also this one 20-gallon or 20-pound propane tank. Uh, this has lasted us so far since Friday, uh, Thursday when we got here. And I know it's always not recommended, but we use that for a two-hour drive from our home to this campsite to keep the refrigerator and freezer working. So it's been on since Thursday afternoon, uh, and today is Sunday afternoon, almost evening, on one propane tank. And I know the gauges aren't the most accurate, but this one still says it's in the green. And we've been taking we've showers every day. Uh, we've been cooking with the stove. And the refrigerator, again, has been using gas only the whole time we've been here. So I, I think one propane bottle is going to last probably four days. But I have spares, of course. Anyway, so the other side of the pass-through storage, the shelf. I wish there was another shelf over here. Uh, the outside uh, griddle, which works pretty good. It's just it takes a while for it to get uh, hot. But... I think that's how they all are. Uh, we recently added the mud wafts covers so they don't get in there. But honestly, I think out here in California, that's not really a problem. Um, 
we got the chocks for the tires and the plastic Lego set and to lift the tires up a little bit. Um, this, this has been a crazy story. This is the first thing that we took back for warranty because the door is broken. They replaced it once and they didn't install it correctly. So there was a big gap around here, which obviously isn't good. They replaced it again. And now the hose that it came with is not plugged in here anymore. Believe it or not, there's different sizes for these quick release. And I just got tired of the dealership. So I just bought my own online and it's worked fine. I added this little magnet here and a magnet here and a magnet under here one of those rare earth magnets because when you're driving down the road this thing was just flapping so now the magnet holds it a little bit tighter and then just it's not necessary but now when you open it it stays up <laughs> i don't know goofy but i like magnets i guess so the more ride steps are awesome these things are so sturdy um these things are great too i found these on amazon they're basically uh solar motion lights and i added magnets again to the back of them so you can put them wherever you want and at night they light up perfect um the awning no big deal with the awning so inside we had to redo this latch for the door lock because the screws they used were too small and they uh stripped out the hole in the frame so the door would not latch properly and i had to redo that with some better self-tapping screws i tell you there's a lot of work involved in these travel trailers that's for sure but we were expecting it so as we walk in refrigerator as you can see we're on gas we've been on gas since thursday afternoon again this is saturday evening and it's been working fine and this refrigerator i know there's some of them that are three-way refrigerators this is just the uh gas and electric refrigerator um it's been fine and and not 12 volt it's got to be connected to shore power which is not a big deal so far plenty of room in there tons of room for two people i mean there's there's a lot of room for two people so coming around uh you know the normal control stuff up here no big deal this we we love the sink the kitchen the whole kitchen area actually not just the sink i mean this thing is a, a nice big sink you can do your dishes really easy in with all that space um the range top the convection microwave the central vac of course that stuff doesn't work unless you're plugged into shore power plenty of storage up above i mean we've got again no problems with storage um the thermostat cover falls off on almost every trip <laughs> uh down over here the carbon monoxide detector fall uh, actually is it doesn't fall off just when they assembled it they stripped out the wood paneling and so it just falls out so i just put some silicone uh silicone is going to be your best friends in an rv i swear i've used it so much um we added these little hooks but i don't i don't think they're going to be strong enough i'm going to find something else for that uh, so the slide out the slide out is amazing people have asked about the mattress before it, it's not comfortable and it's not even but we don't use it that much uh, more storage up there it's been fine table here it's great storage over here the heater works really really good it's just noisy but we've get gotten used to that and uh, everybody we talk to that has that same type of, of i guess suburban i believe is the name heater they're known to be noisy so this is what i was talking about we got this jackery little uh power station uh, it's their cheaper version i should know but i don't know how many milliamps or anything it has but anyway if you need to know well there's probably the information i don't know if you can see it um this thing's pretty good uh we can watch the tv is a 12 volt tv and the jackery has a plug-in for a 12 volt accessory and then over here we plug in the dvd player uh yeah the dvd player and uh if it's at 100 percent charge we can watch a movie uh and it gets down to i believe 30 or 40 percent so this thing would get you know a full movie and a half of another movie if you're completely if you don't want to use your batteries in the trailer of course where we're at here the campground is nice by the way this is one of our favorite camp sites not necessarily our ca favorite campground uh but the, definitely it's one of the nicest sites that we've been in um we've been doing a lot of koas and we've been doing um just private campgrounds so far uh this summer we'll be doing more boondocking 
and see how everything works that way. But, you know, honestly, KOAs, I've been liking the KOAs in Northern California. Uh, let's see. So, again, slide out. The mattress has been perfectly fine with us. We, we did actually add one of the foam mattresses, and we're kind of going back and forth between which ones that we want to use. So that's the mattress that it came with. And then we have a, I think that's a four inch memory foam mattress that we switch on and off on to see which one's more comfortable. And we don't know yet which one is. Um, again, more storage up here. There's plenty of room for two people. I did upgrade the shocks for the bed because one of them was not working. So now I can grab it with one hand and a little bit of effort, not too much. And it lifts up easy. And it stays up, even with two mattresses on top. So those are two 40-pound gas struts. Um, I added this piece here, just for obviously more support. Um, I haven't done it yet, but like I said, my other video, the, power, the battery inverter is on that side in the storage, which you can't get to. So I'm going to cut a hole and bring it over here. I've already put supported, you know, got some more plywood in here. So it's going to be, you know, up against that side eventually when I get to it, but it's not a priority. And the other thing is too, these things right here, these little electric heaters, if you're plugged into shore power, this thing is amazing. It's only pulls 800 Watts. So technically you could use the electrical in the trailer because the inverter is a thousand Watts, but I just wouldn't want to risk it. But this thing is great. If you have shore power, you don't have to use the gas furnace. Just plug this thing in, leave it on the whole time, and it's you know basically free power from the shore, and it works great. So, closing the bed, piece of cake. So, um, we haven't had to use the air conditioning that much. There's no reason for that. So, I think last time I talked about the problems that we had, which was the slide out, they fixed that. But of course, when they did that, and they broke a couple little things, pieces of trim, you know, they got, you know, they dirt on the, 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 the mattress, um, scratched up the outside a little bit. When they replaced the water spigot outside, they did a bad job on that. And I had to re-silicone it and fix it myself. Um, there's probably something else I forgot that they had to fix too. I don't remember, but I'm not going to actually have them. Oh yeah. The windshield, the windshield, I can't really show it never comes out in a video, but on the outside, there's like a discoloration on the tent and uh, they said it'd be under warranty to replace but we finally decided we're not going to have at least our dealership fix anything else on this if we don't have to because everything they've touched they've actually made it worse we upgraded to the two six volt batteries and when they did that they uh, shorted it out and it blew out the 40 amp fuse in the circuit breaker which we didn't know until one of our trips so that was not fun but yeah literally everything the dealership touched they've made it worse so Everything else I'm going to try to fix ourselves, or we'll just have to deal with it some other way. Uh, but anyway, having this thing for four months, we just, we love this trailer. There has not been any major issues except the fact that the, it's just too low. It's every other trailer I look at that's a single axle like this, they set up quite a bit higher. I don't understand why this one is so low. I never really thought about it before, why it'd be a big deal, but it is a big deal. Um, bathroom. Everything works in here great. I'm a big guy. I'm six foot three. I fit in here perfectly. No problem there. I will say the water pressure is kind of low, but I haven't been in a lot of RVs, so I'm not sure if that's normal or not, but it's not a big deal. Um, medicine cabinet, sink, the control station. I still think it's odd that they put them in the bathroom, but I'm sure they had the reasons. Everything in here works fine. The solar is still, I'm still getting used to that, understanding exactly how that works. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's been, as far as I can tell, it's been working great so far. We're a little overcast right now. Uh, doesn't look like we're charging right at the moment, but everything else, I mean, everything else is great. So besides finding random screws every once in a while when we're driving down the road, cause the screw came out of something, I don't know where all they're coming from, <laughs> but, uh, the heater, fell apart one day and i had to put that back together because all the screws came out of that so but these are all things that people talked about i knew about you know i'm, I'm not blaming anything or bad design i guess it's just the, the nature of the beast with travel trailers when you're driving down the road so um i guess that's about it i just want to update everybody because it's been it's been four months and we've been on five trips with it quite a few miles i don't know exactly how many miles but Quite a, quite a bit. Our longest trip, I think, was five hours driving it. Um, and that was on some 
some pretty windy roads and whatnot. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions. But otherwise, if I'd recommend this trailer to anybody, I definitely would. Uh, I would just definitely, you know, be aware of how low the trailer sets. I think it's 13 inches. I don't know what, you know, the what it should be, but it definitely should be probably three inches a little bit higher than what it is from what I've seen so far on other trailers. So, again, if anybody finds a lift kit for it, an axle lift, it doesn't have leaf strings, so you can't do that. They're the torsion, torsion uh, by Lippert, torsion axle, and those ones are a little bit higher to raise. So if anybody finds something for me, <laughs> let me know. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, thanks. Bye.